Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. If you're facing screen resolution problem on Windows 11, there could be many reasons behind it and we will be checking one by one. Please make sure you follow all the steps and we will be able to fix the screen resolution problem in Windows 11. So the very first thing when we do a right click and then go to display settings and here we get this option display resolution. So once we click on that, and here we get the recommended options so in my computer the screen resolution is at 1080 so it's like full hd but in your case you might have only um, 768 or 1280 by 800 so the very first reason if you do not get the high resolution option in this display resolution so for that we need to go to the device manager and check if we have the latest driver installed or just a basic Microsoft adapter is running. So I'll just do a right click in the start icon and then I'll go to device manager. And here in display adapters, I have Intel UHD graphics. In your laptop or desktop, you might have Nvidia, AMD or the Intel. These are the few graphics which you have so no matter you have nvidia amd or intel we will be fixing all the graphics card like intel amd and the nvidia so the common reason why we are not getting the high resolution and the screen issue is there could be a possibility that the display driver is disabled so when you do right click in your display adapters whatever the graphics card you have it should not say enable so if it says enable then you need to enable it by just doing a right click and then enable it i'm getting disable device because the driver is already enabled so that's the first thing which we need to do the second step is again we need to do a right click and then we need to go to the process properties and here in the drivers tab we need to check the driver's state how old the driver is so if in your computer it shows 2016 or 2015 that means you have a very old driver and for that you need to update the driver from the same window or you can simply cancel or just do a right click and click on update driver now the very first step will be search automatically for drivers and if it says the best driver for your device are already installed then i'll just close this then we need to do a right click again and click on update driver and then browse my computer for drivers and select let me pick from a list now here the interesting point is let's say if earlier your screen resolution was fine and now it is not working you will have all the drivers here so you can install you can check one by one so let's say if this is the latest one and just click on next and see if your screen resolution is back to normal or not so you can check here how many old drivers you have because there could be a possibility that mistakenly the old driver was um, working fine but the latest is not compatible once you check all the drivers one by one for most of us the issue will be fixed and if it doesn't then we will move to the next step so let's say if you're using nvidia graphics so you need to open the browser whatever the browser you use and at the at the very top in the address bar type nvidia nvidia driver download and hit enter i'll just maximize this window and here we get this option https nvidia.com so please make sure you only visit the manufacturer's website now here i'll click on download drivers and we need to make sure which driver we have so if you know your graphics if you know your graphics card it's well and good so you can select from here let's say if you're using nvidia rtx and then you select the product series from here you can download the graphics card driver so you can download it from here let's say if you do not know then i would recommend to install the nvidia geforce experience so it will auto detect the drivers 
So you can select NVIDIA GeForce Experience Download. Now what does it says? GeForce Experience automatically notifies you for driver updates and then install it with one click. So it's a very good thing. You can simply open it and download it. With the help of this G4 experience, you will be able to install the latest graphics card driver on your computer. And this will fix the problem for most of us. And guys, if you're using AMD graphics card, then you just need to type AMD auto detect and hit enter. So here you will select this option amd.com auto detect and install radon radon gpu drivers so i'll click on here and you will get a window like this i'll just close this now it says download and run the tool directly onto the system you want to update we will click on how to get drivers using the amd driver auto detect tool so i'll just click on that and here I just get the screen I'll just close this and here we go we so once you be once you're here on how to get drivers using the AMD driver auto detect tool you will get the instructions how you how you can install the driver and if we go to the top here it says visit the AMD driver support page and see section auto detect and install updates of radon graphics so I'll click on this AMD driver support page and I'll just scroll it down and I get this window download now. So you can do that. This is the best thing to install the graphics card if you're using AMD. And as far as the Intel one is concerned, Intel will be fixed when you do the automatic update and manually update the way I explained. So this will fix your and once you have updated your driver, you just need to do a right click and then go to display settings. And here in the display resolution, now you will get options to select the HD resolution. So this is the best way to fix the screen resolution problem on Windows 11 computer. And if let's say if still if it doesn't fix the screen resolution problem, it will be definitely surprising but you can let me know however you can let me know in the comment section i'll try my best to fix your problem and guys please hit the like and subscribe and leave a comment below i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day and guys one more helpful thing let's say if your system is running very slow the performance is not good the boot time is very high then at the end of this video, you will find a playlist how to make the PC faster where I have tons of videos to make a old computer in a brand new condition. The performance of your computer will be way better than earlier. So you can check it out at the end of this video and please leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.